hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix error that is no compatible server found so if you face any connection issue with hell let loose game on your windows computer then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to update and restart steam now this is important this has worked for many players so it might work for you so go to steam and then click on Click on check for steam client updates click on it and once this is up to date in my case this is already up to date so once it is updated now exit steam once you exit again launch steam and then launch the game next step is to repair or uninstall and reinstall easy anti g now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder open easy anti cheat folder now over here you can see easy anti cheat setup for, uh, file make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now over here if you see the repair option click on repair in my case i see the install option click on install easy anti cheat click on finish so make a right click run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you will see repair option so click on repair and then click on finish and then launch the game now the next step is to turn off VPN so if you have VPN installed you can turn it off and then launch the game next step is to update the game so make sure that your game is up to date now for this make a click on steam on the top and then go to settings now over here make a right click on the game select properties and go to updates tab so make a right click on the game and then go to update tabs and make sure always keep this game updated is selected and if you have any kind of update update the game and then launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files and then go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game and then click on run as administrator or you can make a right click and then select properties and then go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok if that does not work open this hll folder binaries folder win64 and try to run this exe file again make a right click select properties compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and make a double click and launch the game from here now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties and go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game also allow the game exe file to, to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then if you have windows 10 click on update and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security for windows 11 users on the left hand side you will have privacy and security so click on privacy and security windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive open program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in different drive so open the steam folder steam apps common and then find the game folder open the game folder now select all the exe file so select this click on open again click on browse all apps select this and then click on open add all the exe files select this and then click on open now again click on browse all apps go to hl 
hll folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open once you add all the exe file now open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall now click on change allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings in the top now click on allow another app click on browse again do the same thing so open the game folder select all the exe file from here and then click on add in my case this is already added again click on browse select this open add in my case i've already added again click on browse select this click on open add again i have already added so add all the exe file now open this hll folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now click on add in my case this is already added now once you add, every, add everything now click on ok now launch the game and then check now still you are facing the connection connection issue in that case follow rest of the steps shown in this video so the first step is to restart your computer so make sure that you simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game next step is to make sure date time time zone and region is correct on your computer so on the bottom right over here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time and make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically both are on over here so if not on turn it on and then click on sync now make sure that you click on sync now now once this is done now go to time and language go to region language and region and then make sure right country is selected over here and then launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings now if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security and then click on windows security but if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security click on update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down click on manage ransomware protection now over here control folder access would be on over here now click on allow an app through control folder access now click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive open program files edit 6 if you have bought the game on steam open the steam folder then open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder so open the game folder and this is just an example select the game exe file now click on open once the game is added over here now launch the game now game pass user you can skip this step now similarly you can add the exe file to your firewall so you can open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to system and security now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings, change settings on the top and then click on allow another app. Now go to the game installation folder once again. Select the game folder. Select the game exe file and then click on add. Now once the game exe file is added over here, click on OK and then launch the game. Now the next step is to perform power cycle. So to perform power cycle, shut down your computer first. So first of all, shut down your computer. Now once the computer is shut down, unplug the power cable from the computer and then after you unplug the power cable press and hold the power button on the computer for a few seconds this will release the static electricity from the computer so after you unplug the power cable press and hold the power button for a few seconds and then turn off your wi-fi router once you turn off your wi-fi router now wait for a few seconds and then restart your wi-fi router so wait for 10 to 15 seconds and then restart your router and then plug in the power cable back to the computer and then restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to disable manual proxy for this open windows settings 
then go to network and internet now over here you will see proxy so if proxy is on over here turn it off next step is to run network troubleshooter for this open windows settings if you have windows 11 click on system and then click on troubleshoot if you have windows 10 click on update and security then click on troubleshoot now click on other troubleshooters now find network adapter and in windows 10 click on it then you will see an option run the troubleshooter in windows 11 click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so copy all the command one by one by one now type in cmd in windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening command prompt as an administrator now click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key so copy all the commands one by one paste it hit the enter key Now, once done, make sure that you restart the computer. So, make sure that you restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to perform network reset. Now, before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. Because once you perform network reset, it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. So, make sure that you have the password. So, open Windows settings and then go to Network and Internet. And then in Windows 10, simply scroll down at the bottom, you will find reset option. In Windows 11, click on advanced network settings. And then over here, you can see network reset option. Click on network reset and then click on reset now. Click on yes. And during the network reset, your system will restart. And after the system restart, you can connect to your Wi-Fi. You have to enter your password and then launch the game. Now, next step is to switch to different networks. So, if you have different network available, you can switch to different network and then check. Next step is to use Ethernet connection. So, if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use wired connection that will give you stable performance, stable connection. Now, still you're facing the problem, then update your Windows to the latest version. This is important. So, make sure that your Windows is up to date. So go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. The last step is to verify or repair the game file. So if you have the game on game pass, you can go to Xbox app, make a right click on the game. This is just an example. Go to manage and then click on files and then click on verify and repair. Now, if you have the game on steam, go to steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of the error and should fix the connection issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel